Are you ready to win despite everyone who's ever said you wouldn't? Then let's go. It's time to prove those doubters wrong. Hi, and welcome to the Last Laugh No Apologies podcast. I'm your host, Christine Christensen. I'm a mom, passionate entrepreneur, and success coach. If you're ready to finally flip the script on all those doubts in your head and the doubters in your life that have been holding you back, you, my friend, are in the right place. It's time to dust off that crown, show them what you're made of, and remind them that you are the main character in this life story. Get ready, because you're about to make them regret that they ever doubted you, and I'm here to cheer you on. Each week, we'll dive into mindset shifts, inspiring stories, and practical strategies that are designed to help you realize your worth, embrace the amazing woman that you are, and step into your power so you can start living your life unapologetically. It's time for some real talk, some laughs, and some transformation. Are you ready? Okay, let's dive into today's episode. Hey there, welcome to the Last Laugh No Apologies podcast. If you're here, then I bet you're so over waiting for someone to finally say, yes, you can do it. Go on, girl. It's your time. Newsflash, you don't need anyone else's permission. Okay, I can hear your thoughts right now. Yeah, right. Or yeah, you just don't get it. Oh, but I do get it. (laughs) Still don't believe me? Then how about you use this episode as your permission slip? So if you're still sitting on the sidelines of your own life, today's episode is your wake-up call. So listen up because you're in the driver's seat and now it's time to hit the gas. All right, let's get real about this idea of waiting for permission. It's something that so many of us do without even realizing it, right? Whether it's waiting for validation from family or friends or just that extra kick in the ass to get us into action. So here's what I think. Waiting for permission isn't just a waste of time. It's a freaking trap. It's like waiting in line for a ride that doesn't even exist. You're standing there patiently, hoping that someone, anyone, will notice your potential or just give you that golden ticket to go ahead and live your dream. But let me tell you, waiting for someone else's green light is like signing up for the slowest bus in town, and it ain't coming. You're here to live your life, not someone else's idea of it. You know what? The world doesn't just hand out permission slips to the bold, the brave, and the ready to kick some ass people. Those people, they just go for it. So if you're out there thinking, I do this if I had the support from so-and-so, or I'd really love to try that if I wasn't so worried about other people's opinions. What are they going to think? What are they going to say? Well, I'm here to tell you that every if is just a detour that takes you further off the path of your dreams. And I think maybe it's time to say enough of that. If you want something or all of the things, you're the only one who has to say yes to it because no one else will do it for you. That's just a nice way of saying it's time to save yourself, honey, because no one else is coming to your rescue. Now let's dig into what's really holding you back. Because if you're sitting around waiting, there's something deeper at play here. Like, are you actually afraid to own what you want? Owning your desires means admitting to yourself what it is that you truly want unapologetically. This is where the magic happens. And yeah, it can be scary. Maybe you've been telling yourself, I'll do it once I'm ready. Or when the timing is perfect, or when I have this done, or when that's ready. But let me just remind you that no one ever feels fully ready. It's just something we make up to keep ourselves comfortable. But we can all admit it, comfortable can just suck sometimes. 
Imagine you're talking to your best friend and she says, Hey, I'm just waiting for the right time to be happy. (laughs) You'd probably look at her like, girl, are you serious? Just go out there and grab it. Sometimes we need to take that same tough love approach with ourselves. Tell yourself, I'm not here to play small. I'm here for the career that makes me excited to wake up, the financial freedom, the relations and relationships that light me up. No shame, no excuses. Okay, but what it what does it mean to actually live life on your own terms? I think it means setting up your own damn rules. No more, I can't do that because it's too risky or People might judge me. They might not approve. What are they going to say? Here's a thought. What if you just finally went all in and made your dream life a non-negotiable? That's the bold move. It's about acting with conviction and saying, this is happening and I'm all in. So let's do this. Here's an exercise I want you to try. Make a list of three things that you really want, things that you're afraid to admit to yourself, let alone tell anyone else about. Maybe because they seem too big or like it's never going to happen or too different from what everyone is expecting. Write them down. And then look at them one by one and ask yourself, Am I really willing to take the bold steps that I need to take to make these a reality? And if the answer is hell yes, then congrats, you're halfway there. But if the answer is no, maybe you need a new list. Now the trick is to take one action towards each of those desires this week. It can be small. It can be just a tiny little baby step like today. No more waiting for a special invitation to your own dreams. Okay, so if we're being real, one of the biggest reasons we really wait is fear. Fear of judgment, fear of failure, fear of what people will say or think if we finally go after what we really want. We're so scared of being judged. But here's the thing. People are always going to have their opinions no matter what you do. Shocker, right? So why not give them something really juicy to talk about and just freaking go for it? Think about it. If you're going to be judged either way, you might as well be judged for living a life that you absolutely freaking love. Not a life that someone else thinks you should be living. That's a bull. The truth is people's opinions only matter as much as you let them. And guess what? You don't have to let them. We've been so conditioned to worry about what they'll think or what they'll say, but they're not living our lives. We are. So when you catch yourself hesitating, just ask, do I want to look back and remember how I lived my life for other people's comfort? Or do I want to remember how I went all freaking in with no apologies? Okay, so let's get personal. I remember this one time in life, and trust me when I say I can't even count the total number of times, but one of those times where I was totally holding back. I was in a rut, thinking I needed everyone to approve of my dreams before I could actually go after them. And if someone told me they were stupid or I was reaching too high, I would freeze. The whole waiting for permission thing, remember? I wanted to build a life where I could work on my terms, help other women entrepreneurs make an impact. But every freaking time I thought about it, I'd hear that little voice saying, what will people think? What if I fail? Who the hell am I to do this? No one's going to care. No one's going to listen to me. And then one day I was having drinks with a friend who just looked at me and said, Chris, who the hell cares what they think? That question was like a slap in the face. So I thought about it and she was right, you know. I decided to just go for it. And yes, people question me and some judge me. And let's be honest, many still judge. (laughs) But you know what? Not a single one of them is paying my bills or living my life. I'll never forget the feeling of stepping into that freedom, letting go of their expectations and making my own damn decisions. 
I started helping other women do the same. And guess what? It's so much better than being liked by people who wouldn't support my dreams anyway. So here's my final takeaway. And I want you to let it sink in. Stop fucking waiting for permission because you're never going to feel ready enough or approved enough by anyone else. It's your life. It's time to start acting like it. So go after your dreams with everything you've got. Take that one bold step. And yes, even the tiniest of baby steps count and don't look back because the world is waiting for you to step up, to be bold and to finally own it all. Until next time, remember, you deserve to have the last laugh. So get going. You are done waiting. Get freaking ready to claim it.